What's up, YouTube? I'm back with some more Unity stuff. I know it's been a while, and I've been slacking, but I'm back. We're going to make it happen. Now, this video is going to be super simple, and it's going to be a prequel to the nighttime scene video, which is coming out, if it's not out already. And if you guys already know how to do this stuff, feel free to skip it. Super basic, and go straight to that video. This video is going to be kind of how to import that map. How do we import an asset? If you're super new to Unity, you might be wondering, how do I even get stuff into my game? You know? So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Now, when you first open Unity, and before I even start that, make sure you guys don't use an HDRP, URP, none of that. Um, this asset that we're working with is a standard 3D asset, unless you want pink shaders everywhere. Stick with the regular 3D. Cool. All right, so you'll see three tabs up here. You're going to see Scene game and asset store now it's better to download and import assets through the asset store tab on unity than going into you know unity asset store downloading it and importing them manually you can do that but it's just easier it keeps them more organized it's easier to use um, so let's go ahead and click on the asset store tab click on search online now this is going to open up a tab where we can go to our assets now we're going to search for Flooded, wow, my spelling is even worse than it was a couple years ago. Flooded Grounds, okay. Cool, now this is a really awesome asset, you guys. This one, I actually built my first game using this asset. Um, it's free. Um, it's kind of big, it's almost a gigabyte, but it's got a lot of awesome materials in it. Um, it's got forests, it's got UFOs, which, um, why not, right? It's got lakes, rivers, houses, buildings birds, music, um, even comes with its own first person controller. You guys can see all the stuff it has in here, package content, uh, reviews, it's got great reviews. Anyway, enough of that. So this is the asset we're gonna be working with uh, for this video and for the next one. Um, so what you wanna do is go ahead and click open in Unity. Uh, open, yep, that's okay. And it's gonna fetch a package manager. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and import it. If you guys haven't downloaded this yet, you'll see a download button here, click on that. Give Unity a couple minutes to download it or a couple seconds. I don't know how good of an internet you have. A couple years if you have dial up. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and import this. Now even this process takes a little bit. It's got about a gigabyte worth of stuff it's gotta import. So be patient, give it time. I'm gonna fast forward this part and we'll come back. All right, and we're back. As you can see, Unity has been importing this. We're done. Now you'll see it's been opened up in our package manager here. What you wanna do is you wanna import the entire asset. So let's make sure everything's clicked up here. Everything is checked, all the boxes are checked, and let's hit import. Now this process might also take a little bit of time, so don't worry. I'll let it go and we'll come back. All right, that took all of a whole minute, you guys. So go ahead and microwave your hot pocket, make some coffee, you know, drain the lizard, whatever you guys have to do in that minute. But we're done. Cool. So in Unity has imported our asset. And as you can see over in the project tab, we have our flooded grounds asset. Cool. Oh, yeah. And also, we have an error, console error. Now, the reason we have this console error, and if we actually go um and try to play this if we import our scene try to play this it's not going to work because unity has replaced the post processing that comes with this asset this asset was made back in like 2015 uh probably before some of you were even born i don't know and it's an old post processing it's like the version one post processing you know and it's not supported anymore by Unity. So Unity's gone ahead and replaced it with its own post-processing. So we're gonna have to get rid of the post-processing that comes with this app. So let's go ahead and click on the Flooded Grounds asset here, post-processing folder, and let's just delete this entire folder. We're not gonna need it. Get rid of it. Save some space, right? Let it do its thing again. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as the last one. Might have to go make another hot pocket or two or the whole box. I don't know. Okay, cool. So when we got rid of that post processing, what we can do is check out this, what this asset comes with. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. We got 
buildings, we got bridges. Uh, what else do we have? We have props, cabins, doors, boats, cars, flying saucers, if you're into that. Um, nature, we got trees. And I'll show you guys later how we can maybe paint some more trees instead of putting a tree here, putting a tree there. Uh, background, we got buildings, more buildings. So as you can see, it comes with a lot of stuff, but what we're interested in now is the scene. So let's go ahead and click on the scenes folder, grab scene A, drop it in there, and boom, as you can see, we've got our scene. And let's just play this and check it out. Cool. So we're gonna use uh, WASD to walk. Let's uh, explore this a little bit here. Okay, this is the way we wanna go. I'm all turned around here. Um, pretty basic first person controller, doesn't have any jump features, crouch or anything like that. Um, but as you can see the assets looks pretty good. Not great for a horror game though, it's kind of uh, too light outside, but we'll fix that in the next video. That's what we're going to do, we're going to fix all that. Um, but yeah, as you can see we got some cool stuff, we got a really cool lighthouse. I can even show you guys how to throw an animated uh, light bulb in there that turns like a real lighthouse once we get our fog going. We got water sounds, sounds of leaves, wind sounds, big old building here, big old flying saucer over there. Um, as you can see, I'm getting about 70, oh, I don't know, 60 to 80 frames per second. I'm writing a 2080 Ti, so oh, 90 frames per 100 frames. Oh wow, okay, 130 frames per second. Okay, let's go. I think my uh, 2080 Ti just upgraded itself to a 4090 or something. <laughs> um, let's see if we can check out one of these buildings here. And I'll show you guys how to get some better frames if you're running like an old system or an old graphics card. We can, um, you know, change the quality a little bit. It's been a while since I've used this asset, so I'm kind of, I don't really remember exactly where I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for what it is for free, it's not bad, right? We can make a decent horror level using this. Uh, we'll change it to a darker kind of layout. Um, we'll add some fog, some post-processing, and we'll make it pretty cool. Awesome. I like it. Let's go back to our scene here. Now, I believe to make... If, if you're running like really low frames, if you're getting like 30 frames per second, um, I think you want to go to Edit, Project Settings, go to Quality here, and we can change our graphic settings. So right now, I'm, I'm running anything from very low to ultra. Uh, I can add quality levels. If you're finding you're getting like 30 frames per second or less, maybe uncheck these boxes and keep it at medium, low or very low. It's going to look pretty crappy, but at least you won't be, you know, running on nothing. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so this is how we input our asset that we're going to use in the next video, next couple of videos. Uh, my flashlight video has this asset in it. Um, so feel free to give this video a like. Subscribe if you want to see more Unity tutorials in the future. There will be more, I promise you that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.